In this video, we're going to discuss what to do if the touch screen of your 2020 SeedSense monitor is not responding or it's placing the X when you touch the screen in a different location than you're actually touching. So the first thing we want to do is force the screen into a calibration mode. To do that, we're going to touch anywhere on the screen for an extended period of time. Uh, sometimes it may take as much as 30 seconds of holding your finger on the screen in one place to force it into the calibration. From here, we'll follow the instructions on the screen. It tells us to press each one of these indicators on the screen. You're going to want to do this as accurately as possible to get the best calibration. After I touch all of those X's, it tells me that the touch screen's been calibrated, and I'll go ahead and try to touch that OK. In my case, the calibration was successful, and the screen is now calibrated and working as you'd expect. It's possible that after that calibration, the screen still isn't working properly. One thing you can try is in between the green housing and the screen, there may be some debris that is pressing on the screen under the housing. You can take a business card and run along the edge of the screen trying to remove any debris that might be between the screen and the housing. Because if that debris is pressing on the screen, that may prevent the calibration from happening properly. After you've done that all the way around and you feel like there's no debris in between there, then you're gonna try to run the calibration again, just as we did at the beginning of the video. If neither of these work, and the screen still won't calibrate, it's possible that the actual touch screen itself is no longer functional and needs to be replaced. In this case, you might have data or settings in the monitor that you want to get out of the monitor before you send it in for repair or potentially replace the screen. To do this, you can try to plug in a USB powered mouse that you would use with your computer into either the side port of the 2020 or one of the back ports of the 2020 and use that mouse to be able to navigate the screen to export your settings to a USB device. Um, that You might want to export your client farm fields um, or other things of that nature. Now, some USB powered mice work well with the screen and some do not. Uh, you may have to just try a couple of different ones if your first one does not work. The other thing when using a USB mouse on the screen, you may have to wiggle the mouse back and forth or click a few times before you get the X indicator to show up on the screen. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please contact your dealer. They can help you with sending the screen in to a company to replace that screen if necessary or feel free to call us at Precision Planning Product Support. Thank you.